Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Game Dev Tycoon. Last we left off, people were wanting a strange combination, so we're going to give it to them. We're going to develop a brand new combination of game. They don't want it your typical medieval, you know, action or your, your fantasy role playing. They want something completely different. So, let's come up with something a little different for them, shall we? Let's see, let's give them maybe a zombie simulation game or hmm, zombies mature How about a zombie simulation? No, that doesn't sound good. Let's do maybe a transport nope law wild west business prison how about a prison simulation game and we'll call it the breakout Pick a platform, we'll put it on Mbox, Play System 3, and the Woo. Ultimate Game Engine number 7, next, and go. <clears throat> Hopefully this is a good one for us. Our baseball game is gener generating mediocre. It'll be a little bit of money for us, nothing major though. Alright, let's see. Breakout, simulation, story and quests, gameplay and engine, linear, let's see, linear story, full motion, immersive storytelling, multiplayer, let's do multiplayer, oh, we don't even want multiplayer really. Save game, basic physics, save the cloud mod support, game tutorials, character progression, cooperative play, achievements. That's good. We're going to market the heck out of it too. Large campaign. We're going to go in the negative on this one. Screw it. And a large booth. Screw it. We're going for. We're going for it. If we go bankrupt, that's it. We're done. If we get a hit, we're gonna keep going. Yes, we'll do an interview. Prison simulation. More on gameplay. Or we want gameplay on that one. And they agree. Professionals agree with me. Well, good. All right, let's see. Celebrity voice acting. We can add a level editor in there. No loading screens. AIs. Level design. Dialogues. And eh, we'll go about how we'll go about there with that one. Just as the industry seems to have silently accepted the slow demise of PC gaming as more and more games are primarily developed for consoles, there seems to be a resurgence on the PC market. New powerful and affordable hardware, a growing indie developer scene, and the rise of crowd-funded financing has meant a slew of new exciting projects. It seems that the PC market will grow, only grow stronger in the coming years. Well, good. Hopefully, too bad we don't have a topic called indie games. That would have been kind of cool to have. Five hundred ninety thousand people, huh? So that new platform is released. Uh, 
Oh, I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Let's see. Open world, day and night cycle, virtual economy, uh, dynamic world, realistic weather. Guess we don't need the weather. Um, we'll go halfway on world design. We're really hyping this game up. It's going to pass 200 on its hype. I just hope we don't bomb it. We really could use this right now. Come on, Breakout. Save us. Our guys are working some serious overtime for this one. Send these guys on a vacation. That's not bad, I guess. All right. Breakout reviews are coming in. Seriously? <laughs> I think it's because the market normalized. Right in the middle of our designing. That's not good. Well, I guess we can develop one last game and, and hope we don't go bankrupt with this one. We can pick a platform with the new the new whatever the heck this thing is. We'll do an E for everybody. And then we'll do... Let's see, is there not a, another... Still no new topics for us? No. Well, they were saying that PC is making a comeback, so maybe we need to stick a PC game out there. Let's see, pick a topic. I guess we can try... Is, uh, let's see, what's really popular? Maybe a hacking game. Maybe a hacking simulation game. PC. Ultimate Engine 7. And we'll call it Hacker's Paradise. Looking for are looking at our past multi-platform games, it becomes clear that we should be able to drastically reduce the cost of developing a single game for multiple platforms if we could better optimize our game engines. Multi-platform optimized. How much is that going to cost? Alright, let's see. A simulation game. We'll leave hacking simulation. We don't need a story in quests. So we don't need immersive storytelling. Save game. Let's see. Multiplayer, basic physics. Save the cloud, mod support, game tutorials, better user, cooperative play, and achievements. Okay. Okay, so we got that one under control now. Now we have the uh, multi-platform optimized. It seems that the breakout had quite a few undiscovered bugs. Some of our customers have a bad, bad time with it. Yeah, we should probably patch the game. Let's have Crystal patch it. Let's see, dialogues, we don't need any. Level design, celebrity voice acting, we don't need. Level editor would be good. No loading screens, and that's okay. 
We'll have Crystal finish up that patch for Breakout. World design, nothing. 2D graphics, surround sound, virtual economy, dynamic world. That should be good there. So that patch was nice. People enjoyed it. Let's get these bugs fixed. Fa whoa, whoa, whoa. For fans of the Mbox, the long wait to an update to the console will be soon over at Micronoft has announced that the Mbox One will be available later this year. The new console is marketed as a unified entertainment platform. Oh! They're getting modernized here. Just after the Micronuff have announced their, their new bet in the upcoming console, Vani has announced that their long-awaited console, the Play System 4. <laughs> wow, all these new consoles are fighting for each other right now. I'm going to wait for those new systems to come out. Nice. That's what we needed right there. All right, let's see. Multi platform optimized. Custom engine number eight, I think. I'm guessing, I don't remember. Oh, and we don't have enough money for it. Let's wait till we get enough money. There we go. Ultimate engine number eight. Eight, I say. Casual games. Hopefully this gives us enough time for those two consoles to come out. We already got 500,000 in sales on Hacker's Paradise. Wow, look how fast those units are going. The inbox one will no longer require a, con a constant internet connection. Look at that hacker's paradise. We're about to break a million units sold already. That went quick. That went quick. It's rank 32. Now it's rank 34. It dropped. There we go. Engine 8 is complete. I don't think we've got those new consoles yet, do we? Nope, we don't have the new consoles yet. There we go. The Mbox One has released. Okay, let's send everybody on vacation here. That way we can get them all freshed up for our brand new 
consoles we're gonna release. Okay, go on vacation. Go on vacation. Okay, everybody should be refreshed. Outstanding. This is where we're gonna wrap up this episode. When we come back, hopefully the Vani will have their new system out and we'll get a brand new game on the brand new consoles that are on the market today. Hope you guys enjoyed some more game dev. We'll see you guys next time.